Hello, blended learning educators. For this month's Blended Bite, we are going to share a very simple planning strategy called Would You Rather? Sometimes as we start out the year, whether we're new teachers, seasoned, um, or new to a content or grade level, building a choice board for our students might feel a bit overwhelming, especially if students are not used to making their own instructional choices, um, have not been in blended learning classrooms and have not really been um, given a lot of choice in previous classrooms. So this simple strategy called Would You Rather helps teachers themselves tiptoe into a choice board and kind of build the idea of choice in the classroom and help students learn how to make their own choices and teachers can learn and strengthen their own skills at creating choice boards. Um, so Dr. Catlin Tucker, if you don't know her, she's a blended learning guru extraordinaire. She shares many free resources on her blog and in her virtual coaching videos. She has shared um, a slide deck on one of her blog posts about Would You Rather? We've also seen many other professional development, um, like consultants and trainers use the strategies in different com conference sessions. And if you know anything about like the brain and research, and if you've looked into choice and, and the impact it has on engagement and academic achievement, it's huge, right? We all like humans, we just, we love choice. It, it, it really does frame things in a positive way and, and increases engagement. So if you look on the screen right now, you're going to see a lot of low prep options that teachers might decide to look through and, and provide in one of their lessons. And it doesn't have to be in every single lesson all day long, but if, especially if you're brand new, I would suggest starting with just one lesson throughout the day and embed one option for students. Let's say you're working on a social studies lesson and you give students the option to conduct online research or go interview a family member or friend, right? Sometimes kids have digital or technology fatigue and they really do enjoy paper, pencil, or in-person activities. Maybe you give them a choice to take notes or draw sketch notes. Maybe we give them an option to verbally explain a concept or idea or type a written explanation. Um, those are just some simple, simple strategies that teachers could start using in their lessons to help provide that choice. And on Dr. Catlin um, Tucker's website, um, she has a slide deck that if you sign in with your Google account, any Google account, she will um, let you make a copy of her slide deck and you can use that What if you're you know, working with teachers as a coach or an admin or just to keep as a reference for yourself or eventually share with your students. Um, but what it does is provide visuals of just simple would you rather options. Now, as a reminder, when you do click on this slide deck, you're going to need to sign in with a Google account so that you can make a copy in a Google slide deck. Copy, all right, would you rather? And here she gives some visuals of things like read an article, listen to a podcast, watch a video and complete an ed puzzle lesson, or participate in teacher-led small group instruction, engage in a small group discussion, or participate in asynchronous online discussion. So also for these, remember that as you embed it into a lesson or activity on the teacher's end, you're going to need to have these things prepared, right? So if you want to give an option for students to engage in an online discussion, you need to make sure that you would have enough iPads or laptops available to them um, so that they could like if, because you don't know what students are going to choose, right? So just make sure that as you're planning or as you're working with teachers, you remind them that all of those things need to be, um, they need to prepare, you know, for students to surprise them maybe and make sure that they have all the tools that they need if they embed that part into their lesson. So we hope you enjoy this strategy and we hope that you help um, increase student choice, whether on your campus or help your teachers increase it in their classrooms using the Would You Rather strategy. The links to Dr. Catlin Tucker's blog post about uh, this strategy for student choice is in our Blended Learning August News Blast. So is the link to the slide deck. Thank you so much for joining us.